All right, good evening everybody and welcome back to All The Mods Expert Mode Remastered. And we are right in the middle of a rabbit hole. I've been doing a little bit of reading before I started recording and suffice to say, we've got a busy time ahead of us. So let's go down here to somewhere relatively safe and we will take a look at what's been happening. So we've been processing some more uninspected minerals, which we can get some more in. Granite's been processing, that's been giving us all of this good stuff. Stalagmites, I think they're called. My old geography teacher once said to me, this is ooh, 25 years ago, 23 years ago, something. The way you remember it is stalactites and stalagmites. Tights come down and something might go up. And they've got a big laugh in that I can remember it vividly and I've obviously remembered so hats off to that teacher. So I've been processing the native mineral I believe it's called. Yeah because we are trying to get platinum shards and we have seven so that's that done. We're getting there. So, chemical extractor was one of the other things. Glass, logic chip, cabinet, and casings. I think we can pretty much do. And then we're going to come to a grinding halt if what I've seen is <laughs> right. Um, memory is bad. Two iron. A redstone, a gold nugget. We'll have to separate all this stuff up. We also want a block of iron for those frames, or whatever they're called. Let's go and get that going. Over hither. Iron casings. So we can do that, or well, we just need some glass around an iron ingot. And that gets us the chemical extractor. Ooh, dizzy and out. Uh, eight glass around an iron ingot. So we should be able to go like you. Three more glass for the left hand side of the recipe and without further ado there's our chemical extractor go to the book it's detected it so let's go and put this down with the rest of the stuff we are filling up we are filling up indeed let's put it there <laughs> fuel Redstone, I can understand that. Show recipes, chemical extractor. Putting shards in with test tubes. Different acids, <coughs> excuse me, graduated cylinder. So we'll need to take our shards out of here. Put some test tubes in, which we think we made actually, didn't we, last time back? Some, with some different acids. So nitric acid is ammonia and water. Ammonia is liquid nitrogen syngas. Wow. Distillation tower. Hmm? Am I missing something here? GAN controller. Cryogenic distillation plant is a multi-block structure that allows to extract elements by cooling down and processing air. Composed of various parts, some which will have a GUI to show what work. The main block is the GAN controller, which is delegated to control the entire system. RF, pressure vessel. Where the produced nitrogen was stored. So that's what we need 
for the nitrogen, liquid nitrogen. Syngas is carbon. So we've got that, that's not a problem. Those two make uh, ammonia, that makes nitric acid. Phosphoric acid is water and sulfuric acid, so we're almost there with that. Sodium cyanide is syngas and ammonia. Water, so this is going to get complicated pretty quick. But anyway, before we get into that, this one is the one I've been looking at. And the only way I can see to make these iron dusts or whatever you have, iron dust. So here's all the different variations. Crusher, 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 crusher. Tiny piles, but we're not going to that. Crusher, macerator, iron clump from mechanism, purification chamber. We're not there yet. Mineral sizer. Ah. Ah, that's helped me out. I didn't actually notice that one. I thought we were going to have to make a crusher. That is good news. So we want six iron. Well, maybe it's not going to be too bad then. Uh, six iron. Man, I get spun around there every time. Oh, I'm so glad I actually walked you guys through that because I could have just disappeared off and I was going to end up making the um, immersive engineering crusher. multi-block structure isn't it so you know you guys know what I'm talking about oops wrong place there. so we've got plenty of that stuff to keep us going but man this takes a long time I'll tell you what, I'll bring you guys back uh, when they're done and we'll see what it wants us to do next. Back in a sec. All right, everybody, we are back and I am in the process of setting up, uh, what am I doing? I'm in the, trying to make some chemical compost. The last of our uh, lab oven, excuse me, for our chemical extractor. Because if we look in here, we need three different Acids, would you call them? I think, well, they're definitely, I'm not sure if sodium cyanide is, but anyway. So, for nitric acid, we need ammonia and water. So, I'm going to do this nitric acid in, which one am I doing it in? This one over here. Yep, yeah, nitric acid. This one is making the syngas, which is cracked coal or coal compost plus water. This one will be making ammonia, and then that plus that goes into the nitric acid. Let us just confirm, because this is going to be important not to get wrong. Ammonia and water. So we've got the water hooked up. Yeah, that's already hooked up. So we need to pull the ammonia from there when ammonia is made. So that's nitric acid is set up once the ammonia is going. It's all very confusing. Then the next one we need is phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid, which is sulfuric acid and water. And if I remember correctly, one of these was making sulfuric acid, it's that one. So we're going to need to run, I'm probably going to need some more pipes, but we need sulfuric acid and water in there. So we can, well, the water's easy enough to connect up. And then we also need to pipe 
This is going to get really messy. Right, so need some more transfer pipes to connect those two up. And then we also need sodium cyanide. And if we look at sodium cyanide, that's ammonia and syngas. So that's this one and this one, and they'll go into there. So what I'm thinking, if I run a pipe along here, in fact, I'll come across the top of these, will I? And into there. So I'm going to go and make a load more transfer pipes, get all that wired up. Um, I think it's just glass and redstone and slab, so we should have everything to hand. Something like that. Let's just make them all look like this is going to get complicated. So, first step was to connect those two up. This one was going to be sodium cyanide. And sodium cyanide. If anyone's got any better ideas on how to do this, please feel free to fill me in because it's getting pretty complicated. Yeah, I was worried about that. I don't think it matters with transfer pipes, so I think they sort of work out where they need to be and go there. So that's ammonia and that's done. This one was nitric, so this one is phosphoric acid. Phosphoric. And that's sulfuric acid and water, so that's already... Why isn't that getting the water? Does it need some of this? Start it up. Everything else has got the water on it. You got water, yeah. You don't need water. You've got water. Sulfuric acid is coming in from over there. So why isn't the water? Have I missed something? Aqueous accumulator is pumping water out the back all the way and into there. Does it need to join a different side? I'm confused by this. Oh, fluorite bearing compost as well. That should be relatively straightforward. We've got boatloads of that. That can go in our sin gas one, can't it? No, we need to do something else to this. Lab blend it. Getting a lot from our lab blender. I wonder if that's actually a byproduct. I wonder if that tank's actually a byproduct. You go in there. You go in there. I must be reading something wrong here. Phosphoric acid is sulfuric acid plus water. Phosphoric acid is sulfuric acid. It doesn't have to come in this side, does it? Hmm. Maybe we just don't have the water supply for it. 
Maybe the water's getting gobbled up. Yeah, because we're not getting any in there now either. That one's empty. I think I'll just leave that because I've got a feeling that might catch up with itself eventually when all this water. See, that one's just filled up as we were looking at it. So this last one wants nitric, phosphoric and sodium cyanide. So we want sodium cyanide We're going to want to pull the nitric out of there, so that's just a transfer node on there. And then we're going to want to... Ah, oh, that's working now. We want a transfer node on that one. So we're almost there. A couple of transfer nodes. Tin, transfer pipes, stone. Oop. Looks like we're going to want some more transfer pipes. Why run out of glass? I have. Let's see if we can't get away with it. And then I'm going to have to go on one big mining expedition because we're going to run out of um, redstone and coal before long. Before we, but as soon as we can make nichrome, I think it is. We're laughing. So all we need to do now is pull ammonia from here. So ammonia is the gotcha. Because ammonia needs liquid nitrogen. And that comes from a distillation tower. So a distillation tower is really easy. I well, we should be able to just make that instantly. Let's see if I can't squeeze it there. Hmm. Something, I think I might have just made something I shouldn't have done. Liquid nitrogen. Distillation tower. So there's a circular thing going on here. Is it the book that says what it does? We should have that. Let's see if we can't hand that in. Wow, it's going to give us it all. Um, you can go in there. You're going to be needed for that. You are empty because all your stuff should be in there. It is phosphoric acid. Sodium cyanide. What, for, what are we missing for that one? I'm getting all turned around. I'm going to have to get... Once we've got it all wired up, I'm going to look at how to make it better. So syngas was this one it should be coming into here at some point problem is it goes to the nearest first doesn't it but either way it should make its way into there might be a good idea to upgrade and use the um, 
end of conduits, I suppose. That might be a, an easier way to do it because we can control things better. But back to ammonia. Right, so ferrous catalyst gauze. We've got that, I believe. Liquid nitrogen. for that folks see me fumbling around pure quartz <laughs> we should be able to find a way to get no oh, I can use quartz anyway basic logic chip so that's not a problem that's not a problem that's not a problem that's not a problem so we can make a GAN controller but this pressure vessel. So a GAN controller, pressure vessel, the heat exchanger, spelt it correctly, nitrogen tank, These are the active blocks, the other ones complete the structure. This is a scheme as seen from the top. Turbo exchanger, distillation tower times four. Heat exchanger, vat pressure, condenser and tank above it, gun controller. Okay, so what I will do folks, I will put a final cut in, see if I can't make all this stuff up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let me see if I can make those up and I will bring you back. Back in a second, folks. Right, folks, we are back and that was an absolute nightmare. <laughs> but I think I've got it sussed. Ooh, not that. So if we go here, it gives us a sort of schematic of how it should be. And also I've deciphered from this list basically what we need. So that was going there. Then it was that with that on top of it. Heat exchange at the back pressure at the front and then if we turn it on devices goes green for the sanity check I think that must mean it's alright but well I'm gambling let's put it that way so the heat exchanger accepts any liquid and allows to reduce the energy required for air processing in the compression phase by default the energy cost is 100 hours for by using Chloromethane from this mod, the cost will be cut to 50. Gelocryothium goes to 10. The structure has two tiers, one allowing to build it straight away with basic materials, which is what I've done, and now I have no iron left. Another to reinforce it, the iron tier requires one unit air per tick and produces 10 millibuckets of liquid nitrogen per tick. So, I'm not really sure first phase consists in acquiring and compressing the air. The second phase consists in producing liquid nitrogen from the stored air. It is also available to the general switch to turn on and off. The structure and the sanity checks and if the system is correctly assembled. So it looks like we are. The liquid nitrogen can be extracted by connecting the fluid transport system to the nitrogen tank, which is here. So, compressing air. 110 RF per tick. We 
it doesn't look like we can use redstone for this. So am I going to have to go and build this up at our water wheel is one thing. Um, let's try that. Let's see if we can get it powered up and then I can worry about how to get powered down here. Maybe we have to set another water wheel up over the back, which isn't a big deal. Um, let's sleep. Let's do this in the daytime. Get rid of that rain. Man, my head is buzzing. This is... I mean, it's fun, don't get me wrong. And it is totally different. And once it's set up, it's set up and we won't have to do it again. But it's had me thinking. It has had me thinking. So, we're going to want to connect the GAN controller at the front. That was like so. Turbo exchanger at the back. Condenser with storage tank. I think it was like that. Yeah, so now we just need to pull with a connector. And then I'll have to just go on one big mining expedition, like I said earlier. Um, I think I might need a relay now, mightn't I? With capitals. A couple of copper and a couple of hardened clay. None there. A couple of copper. Because I think we can only pull one wire from a connector, so I think we'll have to go... Where are we? Get rid of you. We'll put a relay there. Connector, connector. And I think we can go like that. We have power, energy storage. Oh, <laughs> right. So, how do we know? How much compressed air we've got? Compressing air. Does that need power as well? Possible. It's not the end of the world if it does. We're just going to need another couple of LV um, cables, which we can go and organise pretty quickly. Should have the stuff to do that. We do indeed. Don't know what my bread's doing in there. LV wire, that's what we needed. So let us go round the corner to there. See what we have for producing nitrogen then. Sounds like the only thing I can think that we're missing is chloromethane. The heat exchanger accepts any liquid and allows it. To, uh, so I need water in there. So that's easy enough to do. Right, what I'll do, folks, I will put a little cut in. We'll come back when we've got water in there, and then I think we'll have to put a cut in. One second, folks. Back in a second. All right, folks, welcome back for probably the last time in this episode. And I have gone ahead and made another aqueous accumulator, sucking water out. 
pumping that into the pressure vessel and as you can see whoop, overloading that now did have it so I could actually look inside there we go so we've got water in the tank which is slowly coming out the pressure vessel is filling up with compressed air and then I imagine if we turn this to now producing nitrogen we get liquid nitrogen finally cracked it man that was a headache but I'm pleased with myself because I didn't have to look uh, online or anything like that so that makes me feel good about myself and we're getting boatloads of liquid nitrogen so I wonder if um, the next step is going to be to set a water wheel and this monstrosity up in our rock hounding area because as soon as we can get the liquid nitrogen into spun round again we get the liquid nitrogen into here let's just double check our maths make sure that we're not getting anything wrong this is set to make ammonia so that one's the sin gas nitric acid wants ammonia so the ammonia goes into there so the syn gas isn't making its way in there because we've got an export on hmm didn't think of that if I put a pipe like so start that up you should pull Oh, we haven't got any syngas left, but the syngas should go into there, I would imagine. Anyway, that's enough faffing. I will see if I can get all this going. I'm going to go on a big mining expedition now. I'll see if I can get our first little bits made. And uh, we'll be back in the next episode, surrounded by cables and wires and fluids and... Seeing if we can't get onto the Nicro ingot. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. Please, please, please feel free to leave a like or any comments on what you think I've done wrong, things I could improve. I think once I've got my head around it all, I'll try and tidy up all the wiring and um, probably compact it all a smidge. But anyway, until then, thanks a lot.